And I don't think it would matter how tall you are or how short you are, the, the bond that a parent has with their children is uh, beyond describable. Laura, standing at four foot two, and Nathan at three foot eleven, have been dubbed the UK's shortest couple. So we we met doing a pantomime in Bath, and we got together before the end of the run, and then we haven't really been apart since. Came down in January, and that was it. Like we got engaged in the April. It all went so fast, didn't it? What within four months, I was pregnant. Literally. Their four-year-old son, Nathan Jr., has inherited both their parents' form of dwarfism, being the only person in the UK living with double dwarfism. That was when he got his train at Christmas, that. <laughs> Little Nathan has two types of dwarfism, achondroplasia from me, and pseudochondroplasia from his dad. We'll find out about him having both conditions, what, about two weeks after birth? Yeah. I think if anything, I kind of thought, whoa, he's got two. Never heard of that, like, never knew you could, you know, have those two. I didn't. You know, it was never when we spoke to genetics or kind of... They said it wouldn't happen. It's kind of, we're all just playing it by here. He's happy, he's healthy. Little character. He's just like everyone else but little. He just gets on with it, doesn't yeah, he? If, yeah, if there's something he wants, he finds his way. He's very determined, stubborn. Dad, up here. Not the mine. You want to go? <laughs> at the minute, little Nathan is at nursery four days a week. Have you got the car keys? Yes. The couple are now expecting their second child, but so far aren't aware if baby number two will have inherited both forms as well. Are you okay? Good boy. You gonna have a good day at nursery? No. No. He's um, just about to begin mainstream school in September, and go into the first year of primary school. A lot of people were saying, he'll not be able to go to mainstream because yeah, they'll yeah. not have them in nappies. You know, they'll not change a nappy, they'll not do this, they'll not do that. You'll have to go to special needs. And I just I was like, nah, I'm not, you know, I don't want that. He's like physically that. very small, but once again, oh. mentally, there there is not enough reasons for him not to have a normal, if not higher education. He can do any job he wants. Maybe he's not it's, drive a bus or something. Um, he can even drive a bus. If he wanted to, he could drive I a bus. It, it, it's, it, is down, it is down to will, and it is down to want, and it is down to understanding, and, that is, and, and that's all it takes. Today, the couple are having their 24-week scan, which will help determine if their baby will have any form of dwarfism. The sex of baby number two is a boy, so we've got another little boy on the way. We did plan. Um, it was a New Year's resolution. Do Mine was to give up smoking, and Laura's was to have another baby no, by next no, Christmas. We'll both no, we we'll both discussed it. I think, well, at that point, we felt like it was right. The scan will show up if he's not measuring where he should be. So if he's behind by a couple of weeks, then there's a possibility that he has achondroplasia like me. If he's measuring where he should be at 24 weeks, then, then it'll either be average height or his condition. Or he could have the same as little Nathan and have both of ours, pseudochondroplasia and achondroplasia. So we've got four chances of what he could be. I'm going to keep mine on. I'm going to keep mine on. Having a child, average height would be a lot easier. 
would probably be using that person a lot to reach things. I remember I, Tesco's. yeah, you know, when you go shopping, and we, the amount of times you have to wait in the aisle for someone to come down because there's no one, there is like the perks of it. The, per- but... the perks of having a tall child. <laughs> Who knows? The wonders of genetics. Whatever the outcome is, we'll manage. You know, we've done it all before. It'll be fine. Steam chain, isn't it? You spot the piece. I still think he looks like he's got long legs. Just below the third centile. Is that so? He's under. So which could mean earcon then? Could do. Yeah. Or if not, both of ours. It could mean either or or both. Yeah. It's more likely that this is one or the other. Yeah, rather than the two. Yeah. But we can't be sure. Oh, look at that, a yawn. <laughs> oh. You say that? No, I missed it. You missed it, he literally yawned. I definitely see earcon. If I had to guess, I think it's most likely he probably has earcon. Yeah. Um, the only way to tell absolutely for certain would be a test. To do. What is that? Is it a needle straight in the stomach? Yeah. It's just not worth it. Yeah. Which, however, he's going to be. I think I'd pass be out the thought of it. Right, I think we're done. Fab. I'm 99%. You can definitely see aircon features. They're not bothered. If if I had said, right, he's going to be average height, wouldn't be bothered. Yeah. If Sudo was, be short. wouldn't be bothered. Yeah. They know we've been th- what we've been through in the earth. Look where we are now. We've managed where he's at and how bloody well he's doing. I know you'll probably have a heart attack, but I would like a third baby. <laughs> I've got to try for a girl. I think anyone would agree with us. For me, I think... Um, maybe it's a bigger house. You know, when, when we were just saying about dreams, maybe we might need a bigger house then. I will change his mind. I'm all right. I've got... I've got, um, I've got my boy. We're going to have another boy. Hopefully, if, if our new boy is half as lush as our first boy, and we're, we're very, very lucky people. And then we can try for a third. <laughs> Not as long as little Nia. You'll be back in a couple of years and we'll be like, what's this one? <laughs>